This is Sophie Heller, and this is an ACT science question. The question asks us to look at this table one, figure one, and assume that the concentrations of propanol, so one of our substances we're looking at, and the concentrations of 1,3-propandial, so a different sub substance, are equal in this left compartment. So here's the left compartment before it flows across this membrane. So trying to get from left to right. So it wants us, the question wants us to say, compared to this propanol, the of, concentration of this 1,3-propandial, so this guy, in the right compartment um, would be what? Okay, so let's look at the differences. We see that um, our 1,3-propandial and our propanol, they have different activation energies, but that's not what we worry about. So remember in the passage, it told us that the rates of membrane penetration are inversely related to molecular size. So let's look at our size. So we have... Um, four hydrogen bonds for the 1,3-propandial, and only two for propanol. So this suggests that it's going to be much easier for propanol to pass through this membrane because it has fewer hydrogen bonds, it's smaller, uh, versus propandial is a lot larger. So it's double the size, it's going to take longer. So assuming that it's harder to go through, we'd want to assume that our concentration of propandial would be lower because less of it's able to get through here. It's just not as easy for it to get through. So I'm gonna look at our answer choices and it's pretty, it's, it's clear that we'd have to say that it would be lower because not as much of it is gonna penetrate this membrane. So it can't be higher, it's not the same, and we can determine it from our information and just a rule of thumb, this is never a good answer choice. So let's go with uh, choice two, lower. 